Hey Dragonauts, what's Dragon on? As we're back here with another deck. We are taking a look at enchants, just like I'm gonna hopefully see you enchant that subscribe button down below with your click uh, to keep up to date with all the new decks coming out for MTG Arena. And with that, let's talk Celestia enchants. This deck has made a huge resurface in the last couple weeks, all thanks to the new card from the Merchant Machines Aftermath Calyx Guided by Fate. A 3 mana 2 2, which kind of looking at initially, maybe not as impressive, but what is big here is Constellation. When Calyx, uh, Guided by Fate, or another enchantment creature enters the battlefield under your control, uh, put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature. Not just enchantment creature, sorry, that line says enchantment. So, Calyx ET being, or any enchantment ET being, is going to give you basically another generous visitor type of trigger. It's not on cast, but nonetheless, still very strong. The second key ability of this card is whenever Calyx or an enchanted creature you control deals combat damage to a player, you can create a copy, a token copy, that's a copy of non-legend enchantment you control. Do it only once, but that is amazing. We have so many good enchants that we would want Calyx to hit in this list. I mean, starting off, first you have Michioku's Reign of Truth, buffing up your creatures with all the enchantments you're playing. Uh, if you target one creature, it gets big per turn. That's amazing. You have Audacity. Audacity giving a creature plus two plus O, oh, but when Audacity is put into the graveyard from the battlefield, drawing a card. You, uh, Weaver of Harmonies or Jukai Naturalist, both of those are enchantments. Making copies of your ossification, it, your copies of your Seal of Existence too. You can turn this into card draw with like Spirited uh, Companion. You can turn it into removal, additional buffs, additional ramp pieces, just so much. Calyx does so much, it is a little disgusting. Now, in an enchantment list, you have ways to play it sort of differently. There are some builds that do a little bit more go wide. This particular build really focuses on one to two creatures buffed up large and attacking in. That is why we are doing the Audacity and Michiko, um, Michiko's Reign of Truth. Uh, synergy in this list. Uh, playing slightly a little bit more removal, you know, three ossification, two seal of existence in the main. We don't want our opponent to have any kind of death touching creature that could stop our creatures from getting through. So handling she holder or Calissa, or even just stopping another creature that is annoying or planeswalker, you know, wandering emperor along that same line. Playing in though, we want to have some other self buffers. That is where generous visitor is coming in. Uh, Kami of Transients, you know, as you cast an enchantment spell, Kami is going to get bigger too. So you're playing creatures that grow, you're playing enchantments that add you value, and then you're working to get copies of those with Calyx or an enchanted creature doing combat damage. So your value grows even more. Uh, trying to find cards in the deck or card advantage you've already seen is in the way of Spirit of Companion and making copies. We are also playing in the Invasion of Theros. When this enters in, you can go search for an Aura God or Demigod card and reveal it, stick in your hand. Primarily, obviously we're looking for Auras with Invasion of Theros, but we get to flip Invasion of Theros. We get a really sweet Legendary Enchantment God, Afara the Ever Sheltering. Afara is a 4-4, lifelink and destructible as long as you control three other enchantments. We like that. And whenever another enchantment enters the battlefield under your control, draw a card. So Companion's gonna get us card draw, we get a fire to flip, if fire is gonna get us card draw, we could see so many cards in a turn, thanks to those two alone. So if Calyx making copies of your enchantments isn't gonna get, get you there, if Generous Visitor and Combi of Transients buffing themselves and buffing other creatures isn't gonna get you there, if Afara and Spirit of Companion drawing you more cards isn't gonna get you there, well, Katilda just might. Katilda has been a pretty staple in this type of list as a two of in the main, uh, being a big swinger. Uh, flying and lifelink, which is huge to start, but power and toughness equal to the number of spirits or uh, enchantments you control. And then if Katilda's in the graveyard playing the Rising Dawn, which basically gives the enchanted creature Katilda's abilities. Flying, lifelink, protection from vampires, and plus X plus X equal to the number of spirits or enchantments you control. But well, that's enchants, right? You want to push in the damage, have your big couple creatures, and finish it off. And to protect your creatures, there is one more card to finally touch on. That is our little Skrelv, the Defector Might. A fantastic one mana, one one. 
We don't care that it can't block. What we like here is the hex proof of a specific color or making it so that it can't be blocked by creatures of that chosen color. So our large creature, even if it doesn't have trample, is going to squeak in and get that easy lethal on your opponent. Sideboard wise, very well situated for what we want to do with the life gun on Jukai Naturals and stuff. So it's very favorable against aggro. So let's talk about control. Well, against control, uh, wedding announcements are fantastic to bring in Wandering Emperor for some token generation. And if your opponent is playing on the enchantment removal side, you can bring in Loran of the third path as well. Uh, going into your mid-range battles, you know, Surge of Salvation is fantastic. We love playing Destroy Evil. Handles enchantment removal, handles like large creatures with four toughness or higher. Uh, wedding announcement, also good to go wide. And if you're up against aggro, well, Search of Salvation and the Wandering Emperor are perfectly fine to bring in as well. But Dragonauts, enchant your way to victory and enjoy the game. Uh, I will keep though. I will keep, we can go Weaver into Kallax. My guess is opponent has got like go for the throw or something in hand, Stimmer control. Esper. I stand corrected. Alright, it's just pumping Kallax. Kallax buffs the Weaver, push in for three. Here should come the removal. There's a Ganjo. Ganjo died. Cool. Hilda doesn't really do a ton here. We're probably going to do Invasion. What am I searching up for, though? Ossification, I don't think, does a ton. I might just want the Audacity. Uh, we're going to target here. We're going to push in and... Try to push five to face. Cool, oh, next game. I've learned much I'm just gonna keep as is. I don't... I will keep. This is a decent start. So companion into Kallax, plus we have an ossification follow up is kind of nice. Draw a card, get a land, poke for two. Go ahead and attempt for a Alex guided by fate. Make disappear, a okay. Crack in for four damage. We have an audacity plus ossification left up. Army of Transients here and cast an Audacity on the Spirit of Companion. Hey, what's going on, Leprechaun? How you doing today, bud? Welcome in. It's pushing seven. My guess is they have a Ganjo. Mastermind. All right. Cool. Get to draw a card. Opponents at 8, we're at 20, we have ossification in hand, ready to go, 6 damage on board, which will be lethal next turn if they play a creature here. And that is going to be a good game for us. Hey, good game. Back to back games, uh, let's just go at it one more time. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I can live with this. It's not a greatest great hand, but like, we get the we get the job done. We get our job done. Hey, Clinkus, what's going on? Happy Monday. Uh, sure, disappear is fine. Hope for two. Tommy, uh, I'm gonna go for Jukai first. Uh, 
We're gonna push in three. I guess they can't ganja me if they want, but we'll play in Skrull. Aaron and Giada is fine. What you got, opponent? Four mana open. Skrull's gonna be doing some nice work. Assuming Skrull's live. Innistrad on... Sure. That's fine. Uh, Yeah, I think I'm just gonna commit in here, right? That's fine. I don't have the basic for the ossification. All right, that's fine. Thought about the scroll. Thought about the scroll. Combat research. Now if I top take a basic, I'm looking real good. Army of Chaos, your deck looks unbalanced and underpowered for an enchantment deck. Really? I don't think so. What makes you say that? How's your day going, by the way? So I can poke in for four? Yeah, I think we go for the four. There's the Aganjo. That's fine. Pass the turn. Poke me for three. Draw their card. Uh, Spirit of Companion, get me something good. I play an enchantment deck in standard? Very cool. I play some myself. There's a basic. your war again? It's 41. That's fine. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. Kidoki. Uh, decline. That's fine. Let's go ahead and attack for six. Mastermind's fine. Sure. Pass the turn. Goes to our turn. Get an audacity. I'll put it on Spirit of Companion. Move to combat, and I think I just want to send in everything. And there's the game. So, hey, we got the game. Dragonauts, thank you so much for sticking around to the end of the video. It is always appreciated. Please remember to hit that subscribe button down below to stay up to date on all the new decks for MTG Arena. And as always, keep believing. I'll catch you next time.